Hello everyone and welcome to a download and installation guide for Hyrule Conquest. Uh, this mod, it's made by Undying Nephilim. Nephilim, sorry if I pronounced it wrong, I always seem to do that. But anyway, I, I'm not really great at downloading and installing this type of stuff, but it's not, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you just kind of, if you've downloaded any mod before, it's, it's pretty similar. There's a couple key differences, and I will definitely highlight them. Uh, but I just went down to the comment section and uh, kind of looked at what people were having difficulty with, kind of read up on it. And there's like two main things that people keep screwing up or not realizing uh, they're having difficulties. So keeping those in mind, I was able to get it to work pretty easy. No, no issue. So just in case you guys don't want to go down to the comment section he does reply pretty frequently so if you do have a question just come down here I mean if you scroll through you can see how many comments he's been replying to um, so he's very active even if the question has already been asked he'll still be really kind and help you out make sure you get it but for those who would like it in video format let's get started so there's two things you need to have you need to have 0 AD, which is the platform, the, uh, uh, the engine that Hyrule Conquest uses. So that's a must. In order to get it, you're going to come to this screen right here. Uh, this will be the starting screen. You click on your operating system and click on download instructions. You click on it, it will give you a download link. You click it and it will download it for you. Um, it should pop up in a little box right in the bottom left hand corner down here within like 30 seconds it's pretty quick if it doesn't try it again until it gets to work I'm not sure if it doesn't work it almost always works so just do that uh, this is 635 megabytes so I'm not actually gonna download it I already have it in downloaded in my folder so we are not gonna do that step the other thing you need to have downloaded though is the mod itself that's Hyrule Conquest and all the files for it this as of right now this file or this version uh, it's the alpha version it's the demo version uh, I don't know what I don't know where it shows what uh, version it is but oh yeah yeah anyway it's the early version uh, just Hyrule and Gerudo factions are available. This one's only 353 megabytes. Don't click on this big green continue. That's for something else. Come down here. Click on download now right there. Click on that. Should start. Same spot. And that's your first step. Once you have that downloaded, you need to find where it is in your folder. If you still have it down here, it's very easy. Just click on the arrow of either one of them and show in folder and it'll bring you right to it. If not, it should be right in your downloads folder, like where mine is. So, the 0 AD is going to look like this, and the Hyrule Conquest is going to look like that. I suggest right-clicking, running as administrator. It just eliminates issues and makes everything run more smoothly. So go ahead and do that, and it's going to take a little while. Uh, it's got it's going to ask, do you want it to make changes, and you say yes. It's trusted. It's trusted. I've tried it. It's all good. Um, but yes, the setup will take a little while to unpack, so I'm going to come back to you in a minute. All right, so now it's uh, opened up. You just got to select a language. I assume you guys are going to choose English. Click OK. It starts the startup, setup, whatever. Click on Next. And now you got to click on your destination folder. It's going to be where the uh, 0 AD is going to be installed in. What folder? Uh, this is the default, and it should work just fine. But the C folder for me is I only want to use it for Windows related things. So I'm actually going to save it in a different folder. I'm going to save it in the F drive. And I already made a folder. I'll save it there. Uh, so F0AD alpha. That looks correct. Click next. 
Um, and then for here, this is for a shortcut. It shows which folder you want it to save a shortcut in. Personally, I would just rather create the shortcut myself. So I'm just disable that right there. You click install. And I will be back in just a second. Alright, so it's installed. Now, I do suggest running 0 AD at this step, have this box checked, and I would suggest running through the tutorial. Um, you don't have to complete it, just open it up and also like start up a campaign and just make sure everything's working correctly um, to make sure that you, up to this point it's done correctly. Because the next step is where people usually go wrong. So just make sure that you got this step correct. Uh, have that run. I know that it, it runs just fine so I'm going to uncheck that. I'm going to click finish and you should be good with that step. The next step uh, you need to install Hyrule Conquest. Put the put it into the uh, mods so that the game can read it. So again, right click and run as administrator as you saw me do right there. Do you want this app to make changes? Yes. So then you just click next. Um, make sure that you save it to the same file. If you did not change this URL address or whatever that's called, then don't worry about it. It'll be in the right spot. However, because I did change it, I do need to change the path here. So I'm going to go down to where it's saved, which is my F drive. Go down to 0 AD alpha, binaries, whoops, binaries, data, mods, and yes, I need to have a Hyrule folder. So we're going to click on this folder, make a new folder titled Hyrule enter and this is the folder that I want so 0 AD alpha binaries data mods Hyrule yes that looks good select next and it's just reconfirming everything click start I'll be back with you when this is done okay, so now that's all done it's been installed click click next and exit so now we have the game downloaded and installed and we have the mod downloaded and, and installed but before we open up the game there are two more things we need to accomplish well you don't need to accomplish but for me because I didn't create a shortcut earlier I'm gonna make a shortcut now um, so I just go to my F drive 080 alpha binaries system and it's r the application is right here um, did take me a little while to find it, so that's where the application is stored. Just click and drag it onto here, or click and drag it down to there. Um, I actually need to get rid of this one. Unpin, put that on there. Um, I did have, I did try to have it right there, but it wasn't working very well. Um, so maybe you can get it to work, but that shortcut right here for me was not working. It does work when it's down there, though. Um, so yep, that's that's part one. The second thing I want to address is uh, there are a couple folders that we need to delete um, to make it run better. Um, I was looking through the comments, and if you have Windows 10, and there's a couple others as well. If you don't delete these files, it really screws up the game, and it just won't work. So you need to go to the F drive. Well, okay. Go go to where your uh, mod is downloaded. So yours is going to be C something else, something else, whatever. I think it's like C users program file or whatever. Anyway, go to binaries once you're in the 0 AD. Click on, what was it? Data. Mods. Hyrule. And then once you're in the Hyrule uh, folder, you need to click on maps. There's two more of these folders right there. You need to del delete these folders. Um, I'm not entirely sure why, but by deleting them, you make the game run better. Or actually work in the first place. So do delete them. And now we're set. Now we can run the game. So I'll let's load it up, see what happens. Okay, so far so good. So now what we need to do 
we need to go to tools and options go because we the the mod is not active even though it's in the folder it's not active yet so we need to go to tools and options click on mod selection and when you first load it up you'll have something that looks like this you have Hyrule Conquest up here and you'll have 080 down here that means that the only thing that it, it is running is 0 AD and that's not what you want you want the mod right so you click on the mod you click enable and it'll put it down here it should put it underneath but if it for some reason puts it above 0 AD it will not work and that's where some people are having problems again so you need to make sure you click on Hyrule Conquest make it sure that it's down so click on Hyrule Conquest click down Make sure it's below 0 AD and you should be good. Save configuration and start mods. It'll reload it with the mods active. Um, then you go to single player, matches, and for this mod, you should only have, if it's running correctly, you should only have two factions as of this current version of Hyrule Conquest. You have the Gerudo and you have the Kingdom of Hyrule. If you do not have that you and you have like all the base game, factions that's incorrect uh, you did something wrong so you have those and teams that's fine uh, one last point of uh, mention although the it shows all maps even from the base game the base game maps will not work on this mod um, so you do need to only choose mods for this mod for Hyrule Conquest and as far as I can tell there's only three but I could be wrong um, I have tried Hyrule Field and it does work however you also have the Gerudo Desert which I assume works and Death Canyon and Death Mountain Death Canyon I'm not sure about I'm not positive but Death Mountain I believe does work I don't know about Death Canyon um, that's why I said there's only three that I'm pretty sure work. Um, but yeah, that's all. It should, should work just fine. And, let's see, Hyrule Field. Let's be the Gerudo and start game. Just to show that it works. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not too bad. Uh, there's a couple steps, but once you know how to do it, it's not hard and we are now loaded maybe maybe possibly nope still loading there we go now we're in so as you can see everything does work you choose your hero and there the games worked uh, I hope this tutorial was helpful if it was please do consider giving it a like it really means a lot, and it shows me that this was useful to someone. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, go ahead and leave those in the comment section, and I will try to help you out as best as I can. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.